Hey guys, have you ever had that feeling of being lost, of not knowing who you are, where you want to go, or how you're going to get there? Today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit more seriously about that because it's something that I've honestly been going through quite often. Now this channel, I know it focuses on mindset, confidence, and success, but sometimes even the most confident people, they get brought down. And why is that? Sometimes even the most successful people feel lost. And sometimes people just feel like they're in a state of, I don't know where I'm going. And I'm here to tell you that's okay. If you're someone who's ever felt lost or is feeling lost right now, this video is for you. You know, we live in a world that is filled with social media, constant change, and this constant need to be at that next level all the time. The constant need to feel like we have to prove something to someone else. To feel like we need to get the most likes, the most comments, the most subscribers. But here's the thing. What I've found recently is that I've been losing myself. I haven't had that passion that I used to have. I haven't had that feeling and that fire within me to do what I want to do and I honestly feel like I've been off the track and off the path. I feel like what is the point in doing all this if I'm not getting subscribers, if I'm not getting likes, if I'm not getting comments. But here's the thing, I'm not doing it for other people. I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it to push myself. I'm doing it to push my limits, to see what I can do in this world and what I can make of my life. Now, I'm not saying that the whole reason that I'm making these YouTube videos is just for me, because believe me, I want to add value to each and every one of you who watches this. But what I've come to realize is that in this world filled with social media, constant chain, people are doing things to get attention that puts themselves in danger. And I've seen videos of people you know, up on skyscrapers, hanging off the ledge with no harness, and I've read stories of those kinds of people who have actually fallen to their death doing something. And why? It's to get more likes, to get more comments. But were they doing it for themselves or were they, do or were they doing it for someone else? So here's my thing. I'm someone who's trying to be more authentic. I'm someone who's trying to become more of who I am. But I don't always know who I am all the time. Sometimes I just feel like I'm wandering, that I'm lost, that I don't know, have a clear direction. And I have this really weird thing about me where if I see other people succeeding, I'm really happy for them. But then I look at my own life and I say, well, why don't I have that? Why can't I be like that? And why am I not seeing these kind of results, even though I feel like I'm putting in the work? And, you know, it ends up bringing me down to a level of almost depression-like state. And you know, this is kind of hard for me to talk about, but I feel like if I want to make a change, I have to be the change I want to see. And I know that's a pretty cliche line, but for anyone who's watching this, just know that it's okay if you feel lost every time. Right? If Not every time. It's okay if you feel lost from time to time. It's okay if you feel lost and you don't even know who you are yet. That's part of the discovery process. If you want to start being more of who you are and discovering that, what I would recommend is just getting off of social media for a little while. Maybe take a month off. Maybe take some time, or if you are gonna go on social media, just focus on those, you know, maybe just focus on some groups that you wanna be a part of. Focus on some Facebook groups that help build your success in the area that you're looking for where people come together. Like I'm a part of a few groups that help speakers get more well known. And you can ask questions and people are there to give you advice. They celebrate each other's success. And it's different because it's not like your traditional social media where you're just scrolling through and looking through other people's lives and saying, wow, I wish I had that. You know, maybe you've caught yourself doing that where you look through social media and say, I wish I had that. I wish I had that kind of person's life. I wish I could travel more. And I feel like that kind of got me stuck in a, in a self-improvement kind of swirling downward loop 
because I was listening to these motivational speakers all the time. And yes, they're motivational, but at the same time, these are people who have $400 million, you know, $500 million in their account, and they're saying, yeah, just go for it, it's easy. But at the same time, you look back at your own life and you say, but I have a job, I have kids to take care of, I have rent to pay, a mortgage to pay. How am I supposed to just drop all that and go do that? Yes, it's easy for you to say because you already have all this money, but at the same time, that, that whole theory is true. You know, you have to go after your dreams. You have to take that massive action and go for it. And yes, there's people out there who want to scam you out of it. Like all these MLM companies, I don't believe in them. I feel like, you know, I got scammed by one of them like years ago, but you know, you have to do what makes you feel happy at the time. And the thing is, you don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work. You just have to go through your life journey and understand that any failures you experience, they're happening for you and not against you. They're there to teach you something. You know, something I've always kind of gone through in my life is whenever something bad happens, I try and look for the good in that situation. Or I think, what is this here to teach me? And even in this moment, I'm thinking, and I'm honestly, I'm making this video more for me because I'm honestly just feeling a bit lost right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I feel like I'm on the right path, but I feel like I know that I want to help people. And I feel like I know that I want to help you. And if you're watching this video, I really appreciate you because you know, you're part of this journey with me. And this is why I make these videos because I want you to be part of my journey. And I want to maximize the way I can help you and help others. So together we can really change the world for the better. Here's my thing. If you're feeling lost, that's okay. If you feel like you're not enough, that's okay because in reality you are enough. Because, you know, I always think back, out of seven billion people on this world, there's only one of you. So you must be here for a reason. And if you're feeling lost, maybe you just haven't found that path that you're supposed to be on yet, and that's okay. Go out, try things, experiment. Be the kind of person you want to be. Don't try and be someone that social media or your friends or your family is telling you you need to be. You have the power to change your life. You have the power to pick whatever path you want, but it's okay if you're feeling lost. It's okay if you feel a little bit down that you don't know where you're supposed to be. I feel like these motivational speakers and everyone, they always tell you, just go, 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 go for it. But if you're never seeing results and you're feeling like, I don't even know if I'm on the right path, but I just have to keep going. You don't take that time to sit back and reflect. And sometimes you just need that, just to step away from everything you're doing for even, you know, even an hour, just sit back and say, okay, put the phone down and just say, what do I want? Who do I want to be? And what brings me the most joy in life? You know, I was going for a walk last night with my wife, Steph, and she was asking me, you know, what brings you joy? What brings you happiness? And I really loved that conversation because we got into the things that actually bring me joy. You know, like my daughter and playing games with my friends and video editing and photography and cooking and teaching. You know, these are all things that bring me true joy because I love to help people. I love to, you know, some of the best times I've had in my life have been playing games with my friends and yes, it's not like a, it, it can be a waste of time to play games, but at the same time, we all need that downtime from, from time to time. We all need to step back and sit back and say, okay, I'm just gonna hang out with my friends. I'm just gonna play some games for a while and kill some time because that's what I need to unwind. And honestly, like, I remember back, just back to like middle school, just playing games with my friend Brandon and you know, every night we'd get home and we'd pick, like this was before like, uh, before like online co-op and all this kind of stuff. We would just, we would call each other on the phone and we would just play the same game together over the phone and we would just talk for hours playing the games and it was just such a blast. And that's the kind of stuff that brought me joy. 
and it still brings me joy today. Like, you know, these are friendships that I've created over a long period of time. So don't feel like the things you're doing now aren't worth it. If something brings you joy, explore that passion a little bit more. If something brings you happiness, go down that path. Maybe it'll lead you to something else that's fantastic. Or maybe it'll lead you to a person who will lead you to something else. And I feel like in this kind of world, we're constantly being pushed to go forward. It's okay to just sit down and just absorb what's around you for a while. It's okay. You know, you're enough. You can do what you want to do. Don't feel like you constantly have to be pushed forward because you are the one who has the capability to constantly move forward if you want to. Or you can sit down and just enjoy the path for a while. So if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling like you don't know what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to get there, that's okay. My biggest advice for you today is just reflect. What do you like? What brings you joy? What brings you happiness? And start from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one's a little bit longer, but I feel like this is me coming out. I feel like this is me coming into this new person I'm trying to become, and I'm doing it to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.